In this video, we will look at how to create a team project file so a number of users can work on a project simultaneously. If you know SVN or any other version control software, then you will be familiar with this. Uh, essentially, we're going to create one copy of the project file on a shared location and another copy of the files for you in a local location, i.e. on your local computer. When you want to work on a page, you check it out, as the terminology goes, to work on it. When you've finished working, you check it back in. This prevents others from working on that file at the same time and causing what are known as conflicts. As you can see, we have the file we created in the last video, but any new project will do. From the Team menu, we will select Create Team Project from Current File. We'll choose a project name, Project UX Journeyman. Next, we'll choose where to store the team project files. This location needs to be a place where all members of the team can access it, a network location usually. Here, I'm simply putting the team directory in the public folder on this machine. Click on Next to choose where you want to put your local copy of the project files. Um, I'm going to put mine in the default location in my Axia folder in my documents. We click Finish to let Axia start working its magic. After a few seconds, the project file is opened. Now what you'll notice first is that the pages have little blue diamonds against them. This indicates that they are checked in. If you hover over the page, you'll see that there is a watermark on the top right that reads Check Out. Let's click on that. You'll notice that the blue diamond has changed to a green circle. It's green for Go. Go ahead and edit. We add something to the page edit the page. When you finished you can check the page back in. You get a summary of what has changed in the page and a text area where you can add some notes about the changes you have made. Creating a paper trail like this is very helpful for other team members. Okay. You can see the green circle has changed back to a blue diamond to indicate it is checked back in and no longer editable. To collect changes from your co-workers, you should remember to check for updates. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but there are a bunch of other shortcuts available here as well. If you want to know more, a quick Google search on Axure Team Projects will lead you to the, the appropriate Axure Help section. Browse Team Project History under the Team menu is where you can find the history of your project. Major events, who's checked in what, with dates and so on, a really useful paper trail. That wraps up the basics for setting up a team project. Okay, so far in this section we've covered lots of ground picking up on the design management features of Axio that really set it apart from the competition. In the next section, we are going to learn how we might use a new feature for version 7, Adaptive Views, to demonstrate how the design adapts or responds to differences in the size of the device viewport, sometimes called responsive design.